Hey, these fans, welcome to Before the Bounce for round two. We are fresh off a four goal victory against the Dogs, and I'm joined by a star of that win, Libby Birch. Libby, you must have been happy with how it all went. Yeah, we were stoked, particularly with our first quarter and our ball movement across the ground. And then we know the Bulldogs like to play a very heavily contested game. So it got a little bit messy towards the end, but great to get that four goal win at Witten Oval. You touched on that ball movement. I mentioned last week I was expecting a few nerves, maybe some skill errors. We saw the complete opposite in the end, the ball pinging from half back to half forward. Everyone was quite calm and composed. Was that something that impressed you most from the game? Oh, it was, it was really exciting. And just the flow of skills in that first quarter, as you said, Ben, was something that I don't think we've seen in women's footy um, thus far. In fact, the way that we moved the ball from our half back flankers to uh, our forward half, it was, it was pretty cool and it was pretty cool to be involved in. Uh, and now we've just got to find that consistency across four quarters because obviously we could, we could get it done in that first but couldn't really find that flow again for the rest of the game. We're playing a tough opposition in Richmond this week. They're coming off a 38-point win over St Kilda and their ball movement was also a real key to their performance. Do you think that's going to be a massive battle this weekend? Yeah, I think it'll be a really tough game. It'll be different completely different in the way that Richmond play. They like to stretch the ground and make a lot of the contests one-on-one -on -one battles. Whereas last week we were, we were encountering Bulldogs that liked that contested ball, lots of stoppages. So it's going to be a completely different feel this week and we're going to need to adjust. One player we'll definitely have to watch is Monique Conti. She had 29 disposals, started the season on fire. How important is she for the Tigers set up in the midfield? Yeah, Monique has been such a player over the last couple of years. She really sets up their ball movement and inside 50s particularly, and she's an outside runner as well. So we're going to have to be really careful of the way that she can move the footy and get her Richmond midfield started. The Tigers got away from St Kilda with some really good goal kicking. 10 goals, one. We kick 6-10. That's going to be something to watch because you've got to take your opportunities, especially if the weather plays any part at Punt Road Oval. Now, one thing I want to mention is the health and safety protocols. We missed a few players last week. There'll be changes again. One player that's back is Sinead Goldrick, who played a really important role on Katie Brennan last year. Not sure if that matchup will happen again, but Brennan had 12-2 and two last week, another key for the Tigers. Yeah, she's a terrific uh, player up forward and also can run through the midfield. Uh, and she's been in good form as well as Wakefield, who was a really strong contested mark down forward. So the backliners will have their work cut out for them, but it'll be some terrific matchups, I'm sure. You are part of that backline, and that is one thing you're telling us to look out for this week. Yeah, for sure. No, I think that the the matchup this this week will really be really important, and it will set the ground up. Uh, I think the way that we started our season. Uh, last week against the Bulldogs, particularly defensively across the whole ground, our forwards putting pressure on our midfielders and our backliners really showed what we've been working on across the preseason. So for us, it's really about finding that consistency across four quarters, but then to make sure that we are, you know, whichever team we play against, we're still finding that same energy and hunt to turn the ball over. For me, I think it's important that the fans watch our contested marking. It was really impressive last week. I know Matty Gay took this big one in the goal square. It not only allows you to get some good looks at goal, but also just hold possession of the ball, win those 50-50 contests, and then all of a sudden you're setting yourself up to go forward with a little bit of composure. So another important aspect of this game, live at 7.10 at Punt Road Oval, and it is sold out. So yeah. you're expecting a hostile environment? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's it's great to be able to play in, you know, the centre of the city. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic to see that the, the ground is, is sold out and the game is going to be electric, no doubt. So looking forward to seeing all the D's fans there. And then if you can't get there, it's on Fox Footy and KO Sports. So make sure you tune in. Absolutely. AFLW is alive and well. Also, make sure you get your membership to support the girls and don't miss any games in the future weeks. Liv, good luck for that one. Thank you. Let's go, Dave.